always prepare the night before uh, for what I'm going to do the next day to make sure everything is uh, there. I haven't forgotten the batteries or the lenses or what I'm going to do the next day. I can just in the morning pick it up, go out and know that I've got everything uh, without having to think too much about it. I can just get up and go. It's a new focus for me in life. I'm sure it's going to be a great benefit. My name's Ian Berry. I'm a photojournalist. Been a photojournalist for more years than I care to remember. I'm a member of a, an agency called Magnum. As a young photographer, there were a couple of possibilities. You either sort of join one of the magazines of the day, Life magazine, Parry Match, or you join Magnum, for me, offered a much greater degree of independence. Um, you know, you're hired for what you do, or you do what you want to do yourself, rather than having to follow a political line of a magazine. I suggested Rome, and I'm delighted that it was accepted, because one, one of the great things about Rome, of course, is not just the historical buildings, but the, the marvelous colors that, um, if you get out of the center of the city and into these uh, back streets, if you like, uh, you get these fantastic uh, buildings painted in ochre, painted in yellow, which does make life a lot easier if you want to, uh, you know, if you're taking photographs in color. Um, it's much easier to photograph somebody, a girl going by. If, if the background is going to work because of the color, which maybe complements what she's wearing, and you can put it all together into one shape. You won't find that in London. I take photographs everywhere, but I do find myself in urban environments, in cities, shooting all the time, trying to get a feeling a feeling of the, of the country, the city, of the people. And for that, you, you know, you need a, you really do need a small camera. Uh, the beauty about this is that I can walk up, shoot, they don't hear me because the shutter is so quiet, and they don't see me and I'm gone. So, you know, working on the street, for working on the street, it really is terrific. When I joined Magnum uh, to uh, meet up with Henri Cartier-Bresson, who was the doyen of, uh, photojournalists at the time, although he never called himself a photojournalist. Uh, Henri taught me one sort of vital thing. If you're shooting on the street, you really need to move slowly because if you walk quickly and suddenly you see something you want to photograph and you stop, everybody is aware of the change of movement. So the trick is to move very slowly and when you stop, people just don't notice you. There are short zoom lenses, which uh, Panasonic also make, and I tend to use one of those when walking around because it uh, covers my favorite focal length of 28 and Cartier-Bresson's favorite focal length of 50. And so I, I can really just walk around with one camera, which is such a relief. Uh, it's something that I've, I've never had in my life before. And the prospect of walking around with a tiny camera like this and just a pocket full of lenses. It's just extraordinary. And it, it really is, a, I think, a life changer for me. The, the, the problem, I suppose, is that the light does at this time of the year get a bit high and a bit contrasty. It has an incredible dynamic range. Uh, it holds up the highlights brilliantly uh, when I would have assumed that they would have been lost, but also holds up the shadows. So you can work with this extreme contrast. One of the, one of the really good things is, apart from the, uh, the ability of the viewfinder to, uh, to see better than I can with my naked eye, is that I can go to really high um, ISO ratings which uh, the combination of which opens up possibilities that I've never had before. That actually does make life a lot more fun, you know. Uh, 
less suspense and more immediate satisfaction. The downside to that is that I can't go to bed early. Um, you have to get up and go out and shoot. <laughs>